Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to uh, Satellite Rain. We're in sort of dire straits at the moment. Um, when, I was, when I was informed of a tank, I wasn't quite prepared for the actual implications of that comment. See, the intel said that there was a tank, and I thought, oh, it's just one of those walkers, right? You know, no big deal. I walk around, avoid it. And then I saw this thing, and this thing fucking frightens me. Uh, so, the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off the cameras. And to do that, I need to get over here. So, to do that, I need to hit up my invisibility and just go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. I might. Just go beside the... T oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Camera's going to spot me, but that's fine, actually. All things considered. Oh, it didn't spot me, huh? Alright, now that I'm a little closer, I can see... Everything. All the cameras in the area are connected to this terminal. I'm pretty sure this terminal turns off everything as well. This turns off the two turrets, or at least turns it against the other guys. Okay. Let's just hit up the cameras. No one can currently see me. Except maybe this camera here. Okay, good, it didn't. Um, so with this off, things should be good for a while. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, so... We just need to sneak the hell in. And we don't have the, mo the most time in the world. You're coming this way. Uh, I am not happy with this outcome. You know what? Invisible. Okay. Oh, you gotta hit both of those to even get the thing. And you can't turn off that without... Okay. So I need to hit both these terminals uh, while no one sees me. And also while these things don't see me. Which sounds difficult to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, I gotta get this. Yeah. There is no messing with these unless I brought my soldier in, which I didn't. Because I'm a foolish fool. At least, though, the cameras seem to be fine. Hopefully, it lasts for a while. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I gotta get to there. Which requires going around here. It all depends on where this guy goes. Oh, that's a problem. These guys are a problem. Can't deal with them right now. No one's sneaking up on me? Okay, good. Don't get spotted. Oh no, this guy though. Uh, go hide somewhere that don't get spotted by either the turrets or the, the guy. He's gonna see me. And there's not a fucking thing I can do about any of this. Eh. Eh. Hide, idiot. Okay. 
Yeah, you're actually getting shots off. Okay. Well, here goes. Turrets are gonna shoot me, and I know that, and I'm real scared, to be perfectly honest with you. Woo! Harry, Harry's situation. That is not even slightly close to over. Okay. We can use once our techs get a hold of them, these blueprints should be with something nice. We can't die though. I'm afraid to to hit either of these buttons because it'll take me away from this screen where everything is paused. So I need to essentially run this way without alerting the turrets. I'm pretty sure these are still off. They're just the symbols gone. Um, so I need to get out of here without alerting the turrets. My energy is basically not a... Oh, God, no. This is just a bad time happening here. We might have alerted the tank. Uh. So we're actually done with everything here. Okay, okay. I just need to get into the CBD, but that's next. We just need to get out first. First topic of conversation here is hit C and run. Uh... Oh, okay, okay. Somehow escaped them, which, I mean, is good and all. I appreciate the fact that I did. Oh, they're still shooting because they still see. Okay, and then I want to go. Oh, they're coming this way. Oh, goody. Don't get spotted. Got spotted. Occasionally get they get a shot off on my shield. Tank is still over there. Shield and energy are both going up. So we're actually doing alright right now. The only problem would occur is if they decided they wanted to fucking come over here. There is no going back though. Not that way. So we need to... You don't have a silencer of any type. So... they forgot where I was? Question mark? Well, this door's only open for a short time here, so I gotta be... I gotta be smart about it. Go. I don't know what the situation is down here, but I'm not going to survive it regardless, so... Oh, no. Get on the other side of this fucking wall. Woo. Okay, that gives the door. I just gotta get enough energy back to go past these guys. Without being spotted by any of them. Uh, go. Uh. Do 
that you exist and you're heading in that direction. Auto save successful. I don't know how or why, but okay. Seems contrary to the, the mechanics of the game, where you're not allowed to manually save in these sort of areas. Come on. Don't close on my face! Woo! I mean, let's actually do this. Okay. Flash of all. Alright, so we need to start working towards getting. Really should care more about this crap. Energy generator mark two. Firewall protection. Security features of neural implants protecting them from interference from enemy jammers. Ah, okay, stuff like that. Okay, so I just want to do this thing. <laughs> Papers, please. God, that's a game I love. Okay, CBD checkpoint is going to be tough. They take this one seriously. None of the topsiders want downstream scum dirtying the place up. So no one gets in without a good reason. Forged documents aren't going to cut it. We'll need the real deal. The good news is we've got people already lined up uh, who we might be able to acquire some passes from. Uh, to keep weapons, though, we'll need to jump through a few more hoops. I'm going to try and set up some dummy agencies to help with that. Maybe we can get a legit security permit. Oh boy. <laughs> 50 grand, huh? Hmm. Okay. To get some higher quality passes, we're going to need a set of permits, but also some DNA samples. One for each agent. The plan is to steal some pre-approved DNA samples and wave traces of them into your agents uh, to tighten up the passes and get them to work and hire up uh, higher end scanners. Our easiest is going to be Mr. Ice Pick Ward, a businessman who is a big fan of the blood sports down in the stadium. He heads up there from the Tomset Towers uh, apartment back in downtown all the time, uh, all the time. So we know his permits ha are good. Have a search around the apartment, find him, lift his pass, grab some blood or tissue samples for a DNA sample, and we'll be good to move on to our next target. Getting this pass is going to be a tad bit of work. We've got some contacts around the district. We would probably do all the heavy lifting for us, though. Thing is, we're not as used to this kind of work as we are. They're not. Okay. So it's not going to be cheap. That's fine, honestly. Oh, you can't even do it. Okay. All right. Activate ping. Hey, we're over here now. Agents are already at destination. Well, hey, we're here now. Welcome to downtown. And it's been a while, huh? Let's just go over here. See what's what. Man, this place feels like so long ago. Scan. Ah, that guy. Okay. Murder. What am I doing then? I killed the man, now what? Uh, we're clear... There. Oh, next up are a pair of doctors. Partners, if we can get one of them on board, the other will follow for sure. One's greedy, one's a coward, but they're loyal to each other. 
Uh, we can hit up Dr. Tyson with a bribe to get him on our side or just hit his partner. A little time in a hospital to think about helping us out. Um, we'll be good to go. Mmm, Megaco. Migeco. So cheap, so filling, so cheesy. Um, our target's either broke, starving, or both, whatever. The Migeco Pizza Parlor is our, where our informants say he'll be. Actually, this is a faster. This is an easier one. Okay. How do we bribe? We need you? Ah, okay, okay. Five grand, huh? Both doctors have joined our cause. Cool. I mean, it's more expensive, but honestly, it's easier. Last up is Mr. Green. He's been a naughty boy. Initial attempts at persuasion have failed, so it's time to up the ante a bit. Pick up this package and deliver it to his office, then we'll uh, just be yourselves. I'm betting he'll fold. The pay <laughs> Hiding and, and cowering forever? Um, the package we are looking for somewhere in the pit. Ah. There's no guards nearby. And luckily this camera doesn't have enough uh, line of sight, I suppose. Perfect. All right. Package acquired, now take it to Green's office. He works in the head office business center for Uzi Corp. Head to the industrial district to drop the package off. God damn it. I just finished being over there though. I gotta hit up both that and that, and it's fine. Wait for energy to come back. Hit up my dude, hit up my bro. What's the current price? Oh, still 50 grand, huh? 50 Gs? Makes sense. What the fuck? Oh, it's one of those situations. You just killed a man. All right, one, you're good. There's not even anybody over here. This is this is the easiest, awesomest thing of all. Oh, they're on their way though. And now. Go in. You apparently get oh, because it stops. I'm like, you apparently get energy back when you go into places. But no, it's just because you stop being invisible. Apparently we just got the pass one required. And that's that, who knew? Getting four-armed cyborgs to give someone their family pet severed head is, as it turns out, a fantastic negotiating tactic. Task successful. 
Um, that gets the last set we needed. Uh, we've got four legit permits and four DNA samples from upstanding business end. Now we have to access the security, um, the checkpoint security gate. Ooh. That's it? That's everything? I didn't have to pay shit? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, let's get out of here first. Yeah, you, you do you. You're coming out this way. There we go. All right, so you're over here, and now we need pass two. And not acquired. Dummy company. Oh yeah, right. Shit, the other thing we needed to do. Well, I'm gonna read this, and then it's gonna be the end of the episode. So let's see here. That leaves us a second scanner and the arsenal issue. Force weapon permits won't get the job done with the sort of hardware we're packing, but real permits? There's nothing they can do about that. Uh, we've registered the front uh, company Bully Frog with the city now. Uh, now we just need to establish that Bully Frog requires employees to pack serious heat. And we'll be good to go. Do that, hit the, up the bank downtown and plug this external drive into their mainframe. It will establish a fake corporate history for us and start to give us the cover we need to register weapon permits for the security operatives. Uh, so let's see here. So this pass is tied up, a bit of bureaucracy. Even a preschooler can set up a dummy corp these days, but actually making it stand up to the scrutiny? That takes some doing. Um, we're far from the first people to require such robust paperwork, so there are people we can pay to handle it and to do quickly. As usual, these services don't come cheap, or we can just do it ourselves. But. That'll have to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, have been Kiwi. Oh, look at the fucking... Look at this area up here. It's it's so... Legal. There's so much blue space we can walk around in, other than the, the big space up there. But, my God. Right, but that'll have to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, have been Kiwi. You've been great, too, and you have yourself a delightful day. Goodbye!